Hello, my name is Jordan Harris, and in this video I'm going to be going over all the features of this Mayonnaise Devel Elite 7 string and giving my review of it. I've had this guitar for almost a year now and have used it in the studio as well as on tour, so I've been able to put it through its paces. Before I get into the review, I want to first play you a short song I recorded with this guitar, so you can hear how it sounds in a full mix. If you want to get straight to the review and isolated sound demonstration, you can skip ahead to this time, but for those of you who like Widley riffs, enjoy. Okay, so first of all, I want to go over all the features of this guitar. So it's got an eye poplar top, a mahogany body, a bolt-on neck joint, five-piece Wenge and Bubinga neck, ebony fretboard, 24 stainless steel extra jumbo frets, 25.4 inch scale length, Seymour Duncan Nazgo on the bridge and Sentian in the neck, one volume part with push-pull for coil splitting, a hip shot fixed bridge, hip shot locking tuners, Schaller, I think it's pronounced, security strap locks, switchcraft jack, lumen lay side dots, and a double action truss rod. So the pickups in this guitar are a Seymour Duncan Nazgul in the bridge and a Sentient in the neck. And these pickups are very clear and full bodied, but also have a lot of aggression. It's quite a dark sounding guitar due to the body woods, so the pickups help brighten up the sound and give it a very well rounded tonality. This guitar also has one of the best coil splits I've ever heard, and I find myself using this instrument for all the clean stuff in my songs. So I'll go through a variety of different tones now so you can hear how the guitar sounds in isolation. Then I'll move on to how it plays, things I like about it, some issues people might have with it, and the Devel versus the Regis model. So here's an aggressive rhythm tone in the bridge position. <laughs> So you can hear the aggression and spank that the guitar has, especially with riffs like this. But you can also hear how clear and full bodied it is with big chords like this. I love how this guitar sounds on a tone like this in the middle position with the coil split on as well. So here's a lead tone in the neck position and you can hear how full bodied the sound is. But also 
Also, if I play the same riff on the bridge position, you can hear it still has a lot of body and doesn't sound too thin. So here's a stock clean preset on the Axe FX called Shiver Clean, which I know a lot of Axe FX users are a fan of. So I'll play around and I'll swap up the pickup position so you can hear how it sounds. So this is a nice ambient clean tone which I use in pretty much all my songs. Again, I'll play around and swap up the pickup position so you can hear how it sounds. So as you can hear, it's an amazing sounding instrument, but not only does it sound amazing, it also plays amazing. This is without a doubt the easiest to play guitar I've ever tried. When I transitioned from my old 7 string to this one, it instantly made me feel like a better player. The neck is a perfect thickness for me, and the short scale length means that complex riffs feel so much easier to play. Although, the scale length is something that worried me a bit when I was first looking at this guitar, because it's 25.4 inch, and I play in drop A flat. Once I tried this guitar, I realised that that wasn't a problem though. I currently have a set of 10 to 59s on this, and I don't feel that there's an issue with the tension that would need me to go up string gauge. If any of you are looking to get this guitar and play in lower tunings though, this might be an issue. Any of you who have tried a Mainers before know that build quality isn't even something I need to talk about. This guitar is perfect in every aspect, from the body shaping to the finish, which I love by the way. Another thing some people might have an issue with is the lack of markers on the fretboard. I love the aesthetic that it has, but I was worried that I might get a bit lost when playing lead stuff as I did on my old 7 string, which doesn't have any markers either. But that hasn't been a problem on this guitar. The Lumen Lays are a really nice touch and help a lot when you're playing a gig on a dark stage, especially with there not being any fretboard markers. Something a lot of you will have noticed is that there's no tone pot on this guitar. This guitar is designed for the modern metal guitarist, and to be honest, when I've been playing 7 string stuff, I've never once touched the tone knob. Whether that's because I'm a noob or not, I'll leave up to you. But the lack of a tone knob means that there's less chance of accidentally knocking it when you're playing, and less wiring means a cleaner sound. So a lot of you have looked at getting a Duvel have probably compared it to the Regis models. The Regis's are more expensive than the Duvels, but that definitely doesn't mean that the Duvels are a downgrade. They do have more premium features than the Duvels, however, like a neck through design, which is what gives them the higher price point. The Regis's are a different shape to the Duvels, with the edges being a lot more rounded and less aggressive looking. And the aesthetic seems to be a bit more old school, with the traditional tuners and the classic numbered dials. In terms of tonality, I found that the Regis's seem to be a bit snappier and have a bit more aggression when compared to the Duvels, which is probably down to the wood used. Personally, I thought that the Duvels were a bit more well-rounded tonally, which is why I went for one of these. Although I only tried a couple of Regis models, so different ones could sound different. 
I also thought that the tone pot on the Regis was much harder to pull up for the coil split when compared to the Devel, which is probably down to the pots used and the recess in the body. But the Regis does have a tone pot, if that's important to you. The two models are quite similar in terms of playability, but I felt more comfortable on the Devel, although that's just my personal preference. They're both incredible instruments, and I'd say that the choice is mainly down to what you prefer aesthetically and tonally, and if you have enough budget to go for a Regis. Personally, I was more than happy to go for a Devel over a Regis, as the Regis's are priced around £1,000 more than this one and I prefer the aesthetic of the Devels. So to round everything up, if you're after a 7-string with insane playability and build quality that also sounds amazing, there's no other guitar I would recommend more than the Maynes Develle. So thanks for watching and let me know if you guys enjoy seeing these sorts of videos from me. I'd love to make more if you guys are into it. Thanks.